Welcome back, Curl Squad. It's your girl, Curly Carter, coming back to you with another video. So in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how I did my passion twists. Only use a pack and a half of hair. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you how I achieved this look. Um, it's weighing on me. I didn't like it at first, but we're slowly getting there, slowly getting there. But yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. Hey Curl Squad, welcome back. I'm going to briefly give you a list of things that I used to achieve this look. Of course, some water, a rat tail comb and a wide tooth comb for parting and detangling. I'll also use the Texture ID Styling Cream for added moisture to my hair. Some olive oil and you're going to see what I'm going to do with that in a second. My rubber bands and a crochet hook because I will be doing the crochet, the crochet method um, with these passion twists. Also, I used some scissors just to trim up the ends and to cut the hair, some cream of nature edge control, and also the cream of nature mousse. I am starting off on an old twist out that is a little bit dry, so I'm just spritzing my hair with some water to soften it up to make it a little bit more manageable. Then I quickly detangle that portion of my hair and follow up with the Texture ID Styling Cream to add some more moisture back into my hair while in this protective style. Remember that little bowl of olive oil I had in the beginning? Well, I'm going to soak my rubber bands in the olive oil before securing each section of my hair with the rubber band. The reason I soaked the rubber band in the olive oil is because most rubber bands are super dry and applying a dry rubber band to your hair may cause some breakage. So, to help prevent that, soaking them in olive oil or any oil of your choice will minimize the chances of breakage. So the hair that I will be using is the Free Trist Bohemian Braiding Hair in a length 20. I got a 1B and a number 30 just to add a pop of color since I normally do all black. After I remove the hair from the pack, all I'm going to do is cut it in half and make two equal sections. Fast forward to most of my hair being done. I just want to take the time to go thoroughly through it. So as you can see here, I am securing one of the sections with my rubber band. Then I'm going to take 
um, four pieces of, you'll see when you get the hair, it comes out like string. So I'm taking four pieces of it and then I'm going to interrupt each curl. So I'm going to run my fingers through the curl just to give it some volume. So when I twist, it'll be nice and plump. Now that I have prepped the synthetic hair, I'm taking my latch hook and going right under the rubber band. And then if you can see, I only pull one side of it through. And then I split my hair to pull the rubber band just a little bit tighter to the scalp. And then I just start to twist. I twist really tight in the beginning and then as I come down, I get a little looser. When I get to the ends, I like to apply some of the edge control just to the ends so it can like mount together and hold very nicely. So let's take another look how I did that. I put the latch hook under my rubber band, pull one side of the hair through, pull it tight, split my hair into two pieces and pull it a little bit tighter to the scalp and then just to begin the twist. As you can see, my hair is like look unfinished. So this mousse is gonna help tame it and give it a more unified look. And this is the final look. The only thing I did was add some hair jewelry to dress it up a little bit. And that's about it.
I really enjoyed making this video for you guys and hope you stay tuned for my next one.